Welcome back. Rear shocks today. So, welcome back to the channel. Today we're focusing on these rear shocks. What we're going to do is we're going to lift the car up, put the shocks onto the actual top arms. Now, before anyone says you've got the wrong top arms, yes, they are the wrong top arms, but I've been told they'll work by a gentleman that works at um, British Sports Car Services. Everyone else was like, no, it won't work, but this gentleman said, yes, it will work, so I'm going with that. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with these, so if I need to get them surfaced down, we'll get them surfaced down. Where the holes are, where the, like, um, where the old hydroelastic ball joint sort of sit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a washer with a nut on the other end so I can use it as possibly a place to put a bump stop. Even, even if I don't, it's cleared the hole. So we're going to crack on with that now. Like I said, we're going to rip these old shock absorbers off and put the new coil lowers on. So, as you just saw, we've um, messed around with a couple of different heights and a couple of different theories. I'm going to mount it from that back bar, that one that actually sits out. Mount it from that back bar, it gives me quite a nice little square in the middle for when we do the bed. So that'll be quite a nice space. We're going to come off that and hook into that the front of that wheel arch that we made last week. And then we'll make a, basically, some sort of bracket to hold it in place. It'll more likely have a piece going up to the top and a piece come down. I know it's got to be strong, so we'll be lots of little little pieces put in today and nice and strengthened. Uh, the floor's not even, so we're just going to do off measurements. So I know the measure, the height I want F to sit at, so we're just going to crack on with that and see how we go. If we get it wrong, we get it wrong. It's a learning curve. I've never done this before. So let's get cracking.
So, as you can see, we've got both sides now with uh, the bracing ready for making the bracket now to hold the shock absorber. I'm going to run a tube probably down from the side of that to the chassis so I know it's nice and secure so it can't move. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come away from the car and we're going to mock up, we're going to draw it out, um, basically the best sort of idea for it. I'm sort of going sort of that idea is probably going to be the best. One, because I can't bend sort of a nice U on the bender, so we're going to have to come up with a different design. But both of them are 99% the same, <laughs> I'm not going to say 100 so they're, they're about 99 the same, they're not perfect, the bender doesn't exactly bend things perfect every time, so one's slightly more deformed than the other one, but it's going to be the nature of the car all the way for it, so I'm not going to argue against it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crack on, we'll go to the bench and we'll uh, mock up what we're going to build. So... So on the element table, what we're going to do, I was planning sort of that sort of shape, but we've just gone for a little square now. One, it's a little bit easier to make, and two, it'll look right there anyway. It'll, it'll look all right. Uh, we'll, I'll probably strengthen it. I'll put a post on the top and one from underneath so it's not twisting or pulling in anyway. So if we're going to jump over to the cutting wheel, uh, cutting wheel now, and we're going to cut the pieces to length that we need. I've got four, well, I've got all the angles ones, obviously they just need trimming down to the right length and then we need to cut two, sort of that sort of angle, just to make a complete box. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we'll make both of them up at the same time and uh, we'll uh, go from there because we're just going to put a piece of plate in the middle, drop it on, weld it in and then we're going to, I'll put a load more tacks around everything because obviously this will be the first time it will be suspended by itself. And the last thing we want to do is break anything. So, let's go crack. So, for some bizarre reason, one side is actually sitting really low and the other side isn't. Now, I could compensate it by moving the, uh, by moving the plate that it goes into, but that generally has to be a reason why the one side's sitting lower than the other. The shocks, from what I understand, are exactly the same size, so there should be no reason. I'm going to take them off now and we're just going to double check them because there's something wrong. The one side sitting quite nice, I'm actually quite happy with that height and the other side sat on his ass. So uh, we're just going to crack 
crack on and have a look at that. So, one Rover 100 sat on MGF subframes on MGTF sub um, coilovers. I'm dead happy with it. It's sitting a bit lower than I want, but it can be adjusted with uh, buying some thicker rubber blocks. So I've got plenty of thread on the on the nut. So if I need to, I can just lift it up or just put a washer in or something just to just to push it up a bit more but I'm quite happy with that um, it's sitting a bit lopsided but everything's in the right place it's just the floor but I'm quite happy with that so I think what we're going to do now is I'm gonna there's a couple of more braces I need to make and I'm gonna make I'm gonna just do the one for the top of the coilover bracket now that just sits to the um, wheel arch so I know that that's nice and strong and it shouldn't then move and it can't push itself up at that point. So we'll crack on with that. camera caught it. I am sorry if the camera keeps cutting out. I seem to be having some technical problems with the batteries. Uh, so I'm sorry if you miss bits. I'm really sorry. I'll have to get some new ones I think. But I'll show you right now but I'm dead happy with that. Let's have a look. So as you can see there's the top mounts. This is the radius arm. The, the top arm that I was having trouble with. I had this one slightly higher than the other side. That's why they were sitting low. That is the exact same height as that one now. The gap on both sides is about the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it about the same. Yeah, so this side's slightly lower, but like I said, I don't think the floor helps. But that's looking like a hell of a piece of kit now. So I now have a Metro on coilovers. I'm gonna do it for that. But like I said this is the these are the rubber blocks. And all it takes is to get a slightly thicker one for underneath and that'll push it down so I think we've got plenty of adjustability. So, I'm dead happy with the progress we've made today. Like I said, I am dead sorry about the camera. It uh, seems to be having a, a moment today. I don't blame it with all the sparks that shoot at it. But I'm dead happy with that, as you can see. It'll quite comfortably. Hold my weight and bounce up and down. 
Is it, it's, they're, I think they're on the harder set of springs. I actually think they're on the, the really hard springs. So I could get a set of softer ones, but I'm quite happy with that. If I have to take more out of the arches, I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. I'm going to uh, find someone who can roll me some arches instead of trying to find plastic crap. So we're going to call it that for a day. I've done a plenty for the day. That's uh, sitting on, re on rear coilovers. I'm dead happy with that. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Drop a like, drop me a comment. I'm more than happy to read them. And feel free to subscribe. Subscribing helps me a great deal. The more, more people you, you sub that subscribe and share it, the more it means we can keep going with these projects. Like I said, I've got one lined up for what I want to do next. There's a couple of little projects I want to do first, uh, but the next one will be a lot more horsepower similar size car maybe i'm thinking so if you want to carry on watching these journeys and find out what the next project will be after this one subscribe so thank you very much for watching and see you next time